Hey everybody, a good morning to you as we are starting out dark and early still. It is 619. I'm hoping it's been a great morning for you so far. Right now we're going to be uh, taking a look at our Elgin camera up by our transmitter and it's looking really good. The sky cover, not really there. Everything going to be mainly clear for the most part. A little bit of patchy morning fog for a couple spots can't be ruled out, but for the most part what we will be seeing is a lot of this. Just the temperatures settling into the mid 40s, some a little bit cooler, some a bit above, and that's of course how we're just going to be the difference and as we rise on up from this as the sun breaks out vivid colors to start the morning it's going to be another beautiful one out there great to go along with what is almost the end of the week we're getting towards a holiday weekend spring is in the air that officially starts on March 19th which is next week everything is just going to be grouped together in a positive capacity and I'm happy to bring it to you this morning thank you again for being here let's see some of this dryness that works through for our Thursday as highs get to low 80s that is some just enjoying the sun, soaking it up type of weather, getting out and grilling, which I did yesterday, and it was so nice to get out there and grill again. Going onward into the week, I did change this up a little bit. Just from what I've seen with forecast updates from the morning, for your Friday, we've seen a little bit more in the way of the capacity of just showers as opposed to some storm productivity with the way things have, you know, changed shape and the way that models have come together, at least from what I've personally seen, the way this moisture is tracking towards South Carolina, and I'm going to take you all to that point. Right now, easy for Thursday. Mainly sunny, low 80s. Get out there and enjoy if you can. I know a lot of us can you know, be cooped up inside for a good deal of time into the afternoon, but I hope you have some time later. Going into Friday, moisture returns in an even bigger capacity. This is all preceding a cold front, and I'm going to stop it right here. This is noon to 1 p.m. This is where we're seeing the best chance of any rumbles of thunder, and it looks to be out towards our western viewing area and into Saluda and Newberry County. So watching out for that, we're going to eventually see this moisture progress, but it's not going to be the biggest organized cold front. And as that starts of course break up as it gets towards the afternoon hours. We see more clouds overtake the region. We're going to be losing some of the uh, convective juices, if you will. There's not going to be as much in the way of severe weather ingredients to actually flare up any of this moisture to storms. It's just going to be in the way of some spotty rain activity. So we could see some rain, yes, but it's not going to be organized. It's going to be broken. And as we go forward into the day, we're actually looking to see some drier air fighting against this. And this is, of course, a big factor why we're seeing rain chances dipping back now. It's not going to be as aggressive. How about Saturday? A little bit patchy morning drizzle for that start to the weekend, but then afternoon sun looks to break out. Now we could even see a little bit more of a north and westerly breeze take over. Things have continued to progress and get better as we've gone on towards the weekend, and I am loving it for everyone who wanted to take part in outdoor activity. Let's focus on this again. Oh yeah, I just mentioned grilling because I'm excited about it. I'm loving to see, of course, more of the outdoor cooking, just the capacity to try and enjoy the great outdoors. These temperatures rise and spring in the air, and it's very much going to be here for our Thursday as those temps track up so nicely from our morning 40s. As we go into the next few days, we're going to start to see that bit of rain activity for Friday afternoon. But as I just talked about, it's not that aggressive. We've seen that chance really dip back. And other than our western viewing area, maybe even perhaps down towards Orangeburg, the low country, a little bit of thunder can't be ruled out. It's just not going to be that aggressive. It's going to be all right. You can get out there. You still might have to dodge a few showers, but otherwise we're looking really good, including into that St. Patrick's Day weekend. Take a look at how those rain chances have dipped back there.